And I think you're trying to fill in the holes, and in many cases you're just putting things on a piece of paper because, again, I'm going to come back to the metrics. We haven't truly defined at the federal level what meaningful parent community engagement is and then what are the expectations for states, districts, schools to engage in those activities. And so it's not so much, I believe, being prescriptive, but I think it really is uh, putting out there the framework for it so that as states, districts, schools are, are, are complying for these grants, that they truly are looking at a rubric that is going to lead to action rather than just words on a piece of paper. I think one of the best things that could happen is if more of these grants uh, were built around the idea of capacity building and professional development. As every state, and I do believe we have it worse in Nevada, and we're not trying to be first in this area, but um, every state's going through unprecedented budget cuts, even in uh, Montgomery County, again, the most uh, well-funded, one of the most well-funded public education districts in the country, where are there cuts happening at the professional development level? And so uh, there's never been a greater time or need to put federal dollars towards building capacity in both leadership and teachers uh, to really understand the return on investment that you get through true meaningful parent community engagement. Uh, and so it's not so much leading the dollars in a certain way, but making sure that the dollars uh, put out there as an expectation are going to be fulfilled as these grants are awarded. 